Are we seeing this? Are, are we seeing this? another weekly vlog so I have just finished my hair and makeup I'm really really feeling the hair I took out my braids the last few days you guys should have seen the clips in the intro and I have installed this V part unit this is a yaki I believe 22 inch unit from Unice so shout out to Unice for sending over this gorgeous gorgeous unit I love it this looks like it's growing from my scalp and i love that for me they have done so many upgrades to their units some of you guys may have noticed within the previous clips but the first thing is you see just how flat like this unit is laying that is due to the new technology that they have around the top or around your part. So before it was almost like a lace and it laid like really, really flat. Now it has like a little bit of 3D and it lays very, very naturally, almost like it's again, growing from my scalp or a sew-in. So I really like that. They've also added the addition of the drawstring in the back. This is going to help you to tailor the unit to your head. So you can kind of pull it in to make it tighter or looser. And it is in addition to the strap that's already in the back. So this fits nice and snug. I didn't have to do too much of anything to this unit. I just put it on, ran the flat iron through the hair using the chasing method. Of course, I trimmed the ends of the hair so that it looks nice and weighty all the way through. And then I did some light face framing layers just so that it sits a little bit better if I choose to put a curl in it. But yes, we are filling it. The braids are gone. I love a nice bust down for the fall and this is giving, okay? So if you are interested in this unit, it will be linked in the description bar down below. So before moving into the rest of the vlog, I quickly wanted to show you guys the products that I use in the hair. So for my natural hair, as well as this hair, I use this blow dry heat protectant by Design Essentials. And then I also use a little bit of this bio silk in the hair as well, just to give it a nice silkening effect. I love the fact that this one doesn't have too, too much texture it has a lot of texture again it mimics natural hair but what i mean by texture you know sometimes you can get a kinky straight hair and it has like almost a crinkle or a wave in it this one doesn't have that so it makes it really really easy to flat iron only had to go one pass and i was good to go but anywho i have 
several packages here that I'm looking at. I want to show you guys. Most of this is like pre-fall. So let's start with the accessories. So I have really been feeling the Tiffany cuff, but of course it's well outside of my price range. So we went right on over to Amazon and I found two of the Tiffany cup dupes, one in silver and one in gold. So let me show you guys. So cute, look at this. This is the silver Tiffany cuff. I love how it sits right on top of the wrist and I have bigger wrists so it gets on there comfortably. It's not uncomfortable at all and look just how much it did just to this outfit. I love a good elevated basic, like something that is really going to jazz up an outfit without you doing too much. And this cuff definitely does that. Again, this is the dupe to the Tiffany cuff on Amazon. I will have it linked down below. I also, as I stated, picked up the gold one as well. So this is what the gold one looks like. Again, very cute, very like just ornate shape I really really like it it fits the wrist perfectly and goes really really well with the gold accessories that i have on today when it gets a little bit cooler in the fall and we start putting on like our lightweight sweaters and things like that this is going to look really really cute kind of sitting on top of a chunky knit stunning again if you're interested in these they will be linked down below i think i'm going to leave this one on Next up, we have a pair of boots. So I have really been feeling the cowboy or cowgirl Western trend lately, but I kind of wanted a more simplistic silhouette, very minimal stitching, not much color, black, and I wanted to sit like just below the knee. I also have really wide calves, so it was difficult for me to find a wide calf friendly pair but i think i found it so let's open up this package together and hopefully they fit because again i am going for elevated simplicity this fall and winter i have so many like classic pieces that i'm going to be wearing throughout the fall like wool cashmere sweaters leather jackets nice structured blazers and such and so this season, I really want my accessories to do the talking for me and to kind of modernize the look. So let's see, I don't even remember where I picked these up from. It was a random search, but they will be linked down below. They are cute very very cute now i did want something that was again very very simple but i wanted to have a lower heel i actually would have liked something even lower than this but this definitely works i did want a little bit of stitching but not too too loud i didn't want any contrast stitching or anything like that so the true test is going to be when i put it on to see if it fits the calf and sit where I wanted to sit, but these are stunning. I picked mine up in a size 10, and I believe they were under $60. This is a faux leather, so let me try them on. I do have on my balloon cut jeans, so this may not be a vibe, but let's, well, I know it's not gonna be, but let's try them on. They do have a zipper here on the inside. I love that, again, being a wide calf and a wide foot girl, I need extra room to be able to get into the shoe and not just like a slip on, you know what I mean? So let's take all the stuffing out. Again, I have on a balloon cut jean, so these aren't the best to show you guys, but this is what they look like. Again, I think they are very cute. They come right below the knee like I wanted and they have just like enough room in the calf because I didn't want them to kind of smush the calf but have, you know, kind of roomy in the calf but not too, too roomy. I like them. 
So if you're interested in these, they will be linked down below. I highly recommend um, that you check these out. And if not this pair, I will have several boots listed down below from Nordstrom. Boots, of course, it's boot season, okay? Everybody's gonna have a nice Western boot. And if you click the links below, you're gonna have some too. The All the ones that I'm linking down below will be under 250. Some are genuine leather, some are not. These are not genuine leather, but they're good. All right, moving right along to the next piece that I picked up. This is from Boohoo. I have also been loving animal print for this upcoming season. You are going to see it everywhere. Stay tuned for a fall fashion trend video. And I will be, of course, telling you guys about what is going to be in this season as well as styling them up. And this, this is so good. This is so good. I seen this on an Instagram ad. Look at this. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So when I seen this dress, I instantly thought about New Year's. I know New Year's is a ways away, but look how stunning this is. It's going to be so flattering. It's maxi length. And then as you guys can see here, it has the ruching here. So it's going to be very, very forgiving, like in the tummy area. Just really, really cute hugging you in all the right places. And then it has like this rolled knot detail. It kind of goes off the shoulder. Ooh, with this hair girl look. You see, you see the vibes. And this lip, we'll talk about the lip combo in a minute. But it's so, so good. So again, plan on wearing this for New Year's, but I'm going to try not to wear it until then because I also plan on wearing this as a skirt. So just throwing over like a chunky knit on the top, I'm like, like, like on the top, like a chunky black knit on the top. And then with the cowboy boots or something like that for a nice like casual vibe. So, so cute. So I definitely plan on using this as a skirt and a dress, a two for one. So that is a pro tip for you guys. If you have any dresses, whether they're like full length dresses, that are in like the poplum style or like something nice and slender like this, you can use those as a skirt, throwing over a cardigan or a chunky knit, even a sweatshirt over the top and you'll get your nice two for one. Now, keeping with animal print, I received an email from, I believe her name is Bianca. She owns the company Plugged Handbags and Accessories. So she reached out and she said that she likes my content and she would like for me to pick out a bag as a gift. So thank you so much, Bianca. And of course, I picked out Animal Prey. Girl, look. Look at how cute. Isn't it so cute? So it gives like um, tiger vibes as well. I love this. Look at how cute. Just with a simple outfit, throwing this on, putting on some sunnies and like a nice brown or black, like barely there sandal for right now. This is really, really cute. So again, thank you so much, Bianca. Her information will be linked down below. And the brand is plugged, super, super cute. I think that is it for now as far as my new end pieces. Oh, <laughs> every time I move, I am smelling myself and I smell so, so good. And shout out to Dossier for sending over these beautiful fragrances. So right now what I have on is the Garmond White Flowers. It smells so good. This one is actually my husband's fave. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit later on about the entire collection. But I had to go ahead and mention it now because it smells so good. And every time like I'm reaching for something, oh so good highly highly recommend again this one but i'll show you guys the other three that came in a little bit later on it is 317 you guys know in about 30 minutes or so it's going to be time for me to go get my son from the bus so i will check back in with you guys a little bit later on i'm thinking about making some spaghetti or something tonight so maybe around dinner i'll check back in with you guys so i was about to get ready to head out to the bus and i realized i didn't show you guys the lip combo i love that it's nice deep rich brown color for me it's giving 90s it's giving like Neolong in the 90s love it 
So what I have on my lips is an old ColourPop lippy. This is in the color O Behave. It's like a cream stick, but what makes it so good is this Merit Beauty lipstick. This is their signature lip in the color Slip. And it's this nice like nude tone. Like it is the perfect nude for me and my complexion. These two, I am going to be living in in the fall. Like very minimum makeup, like not much on the eyes, blush. And this, it's a vibe. It's so good. So if you're interested in this lip combo, I will have it linked down below titled Lip Combo. All right chat with y'all later y'all so i am sitting outside waiting for the bus to get here but girl i walked past my husband and this was his first time seeing my hair baby let's just say he was obsessed he was like "Ooh, new hair i was like yes he was like mm -hmm. he liked it so again shout out to Eunice hair girl a nice bus down gonna get you there every time feeling myself feeling good good and looking good good okay Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So your girl is exhausted. I look and feel hit. Um, my husband has been sick all week and yesterday it finally hit ahead. Um, we went to urgent care twice um, with two different diagnoses. And then yesterday, um, which was Saturday, we went to the ER. We went to the ER at, we got there about 2.30. When I tell you we got home at 10.30 and I had my son with me, it was a ride. I, <laughs> if you know, you know, like if you know when your husband is sick, it's a wrap. Not only because of, you know, how they are when they're sick like men but outside of that i don't know about y'all husbands <laughs> but my husband i extremely feel the void of him you know just moving about in his daily things that he does around the house because he truly helps me out a lot so girl my house looks a fool um i'm juggling you know him and his emotions his feelings and also zeke's while trying to be present for myself girl i do good every day just to get a shower okay it is a lot so i am praying for a speedy recovery we did get a third diagnosis last night um he is in better spirits today but still you know very weak so i'm at Publix. i'm about to get some quick meals uh for the weekend hopefully he feels much better by monday and then if not We'll come back and do some more quick meals. And when I say quick meals, I mean something that I can pop in the oven or a pop in the air fryer because I'm done. <laughs> I, I am so done. I don't want to continuously eat out, but I cannot continue cooking because I have been cooking, but I haven't been washing the dishes as quick as I've been cooking. So that's a no-go. Um, hopefully this weekend I can clean everything and then from there, it is going to be, like I said, quick meals, um, something I'm popping in and out of the oven, like those ready-made, like home chef meals or something like that. Those factor meals would have been perfect for this time, but I don't have them right now. So yes, energy is low. I am exhausted. I'm gonna go in here and get some fruit and stuff so that I can make him some smoothies. He's not really able to keep much down. Uh, pop over to CVS and get his prescriptions and then get back to the house. But I just wanted to update you guys because it's been a few days since I checked in. I don't know what direction the vlog is going to go in at this point, but prayerfully, like I said, he will begin to feel better. So I'm gonna hop in to Publix, get some food, 
get some things at CVS and then we will be headed back to the house. Hey y'all, so it is much later on in the day and I decided I needed to at minimum tackle my living area. You guys see what it looks like. This happened over the course of about four days, again, tending to my husband. When I came over here to take the trash out, girl, I almost cried. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. I have not taken out the trash in 10 plus years since I've lived alone. My husband always takes out the trash. And so to know that he was weak enough for two garbage bags to collect it just made me so so sad but anywho we pressed through I knew that I needed to get our space clean for not only my mental health but for his as well because a clean home a clean decluttered home creates a clean decluttered mind so though this was a probably about eight o'clock at night I knew if I just threw on a good R&B playlist and poured up some wine, I could get through it. I was listening to a little bit of Tyrese earlier on, but yeah, girl, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see me finish cleaning up this space, but I wanted to check in and let you guys know that my husband is doing so, so much better. And if you are in a space, whether you have a loved one who is ill, or if you have some anxiety or depression and you just don't feel like getting up and cleaning, this is your motivation. Do it. You'll feel so much better. I know I did. The next morning when I got up, I felt so much better. I felt like a clean, empty brain. My thoughts were clear and my husband even hinted at the same thing. So I was so happy I got it done. In my stomach, there's a pain. See you walk in my direction, I go the other up way. I start to stutter with the speed. Trying to stand, but my knees go weak. What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow, staring out the window. Trying to stop for a sign. It's the reason why. In my notebook, checking how my hair and my nails look. I feel myself in the zone, and you're nervous when you're gone. I say I'm not home. I see your face, and I hear my favorite song. Should I send an email at home? You're the number one topic on the phone. I wonder if you know, do you have a clue? I lay my head on my pillow, and you got me staring out the window. We were showing the stars outside. What's the reason why?
Um, girl, we got to catch. We got to catch up. So the last time I talked to you guys, I believe I was cleaning up my apartment. I think I did a voiceover and kind of caught you guys up on my husband and what he was dealing with and what he still is currently dealing with. It's a lot, child. <laughs> so I'm not even going to get on here and start crying. That's the whole reason I did the voiceover, but he is doing a little bit better each day. That's all I can ask or pray for. 1% better every day. So he returned to work today. I wasn't really feeling that, but we do what we have to do. Anywho, I got some more new fall goodies in. Let me explain something. Let me, let me explain because I can't break it down to you guys in the blog. When I tell y'all, I am so ready for fall finally. And the reason why is because I finally know what the vibes are, right? And I'm putting myself, I'm trying not to say this too, too loud. I'm putting myself on a no buy September. Yeah. I'm putting myself on a no buy September. However, however, the no buy September is going to be from retail online stores because the vibes that I have for fall and winter, but specifically for fall, is a vintage baddie. Like, I'm trying to be a vintage baddie. And you and I both know I do that and I do that well. I've been talking about it consistently. I've been popping into the thrift stores prematurely, <laughs> trying to get the fall aesthetics. I just feel like, I just feel like the vibes are going to be there this fall and winter. Even if they're not, another thing is, girl, I don't need nothing else. I, I don't need nothing else as it pertains to fall fashion. I have my core pieces and now I just need some fun pieces. Now, I will tell you, it's going to be hard for me because I am planning on bringing in the fun with my accessories. With that being said, let me show you the first thing that I got in the mail. It's from Timu. Look at her! She is stunning. She is a cowboy hat. I believe this was about $17.98. I am going to be in my cowgirl chic bag all fall. Like, prepare to be sick of me in this hat. I think I'm going to go on and buy, I don't even know if they had a brown. I think they might have a cream. But I'm going to buy it before I put this video out because y'all be selling out my Timu finds. These, these pants are Timu, okay? The glasses can be found on Timu, but back to the hat. Look at how good it is this doesn't look like the cheap stuff that you find this is really really good of course this is faux suede now my only gripe with this is it does have this um kind of tannish brown band now with some outfits will it work yes will it work for most no so i've been thinking about removing it however when i lifted it up like a little bit to begin the removal process I seen that it was hot glued on. My gripe with that is, I don't know if I'll be able to get all the residual like hot glue stuff off, which will definitely cheapen the look. And then I'll end up having to replace something on the band anyway. So what I may do is buy some type of ribbon and or fabric and just wrap it around this and then just kind of tuck it inside. So let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to take my glasses off. We'll talk about my OTD in a minute. So technically, because of the tag is here, this is the back and this is the front. But for me, I love a more exaggerated like top of the hat, if that makes sense. I want mine to be like a little bit higher, a little bit extra. So I find that, again, this is the back. This part is a little bit higher than the front i don't know so i'm gonna put it on oh get. are we seeing this are, are we seeing this this is good girl this this is good this is good and i'm a big head gal 
So it fits just enough for me. Technically, it should sit like a little bit lower, but once I start trying to push it down on my extra large head, it starts to change the shape. So I really, really like it. I originally wanted to get a um, cowgirl, cowboy style hat from Lack of Colors, but they were like $129 and, and that was on sale. $129 on sale, regular price. I believe it was like maybe $150. Hold on, let me get, let me brush my hair, hold on. Anywho, yes, so Lack of Colors hat looked just like this. I will pop it up on the screen. I have a whole album in my phone entitled Fall Inspo from screenshots that I have just taken from um, Pinterest, various people's um, Instagram that I get inspo from. I'll just like kind of scroll it up here on the screen. And a cowgirl hat, cowboy hat was on the top of that list super super excited to have this if you're interested i will link it down below it came packaged pristine when i tell you i was so nervous because a cowboy hat cowgirl hat whatever most of it is based on its shape and i was like oh my god i hope it's not flimsy i hope it's not cheap i hope it's not crumbled up in the mail so look this is the hat box it came in now the hat just kind of sat down in there like that and then it had this plastic piece that sat on top of the hat I mean I was so pleased so so pleased with um the packaging and this particular vendor again if you're interested it will be linked down below now moving on to other accessories that I got from Timu so you guys know I picked up these glasses here from Timu mm-hmm so now y'all can really get into it without the hat. These are good, okay? These are good, and these are in this nice cherry color. It matches my shoes that I have on right now. Let me let me just give y'all an OTD to get this out the way. Hold on. All right, so top is thrifted from the men's department. It's like um, size 19 or something like that. Um, the bottoms are my Timu leopard pants. Um, the earrings are from Visia. Again, glasses are Timu. This pearl necklace is from Visia. The smaller necklace here is from Ana Luisa. The watch is from Movement. This is extremely old from like Kmart. Let me show you the bottom. You can see it. But this is the bottom. And on the bottom, I have on my Steve Mann flats. I love these. These are the Mary Jane style. I haven't worn them in a while since I left the office, but I love them. I love this color. This color is definitely trending. This is more of like that deep cherry that's trending this fall. Love this fit. Anywho, as soon as I am done filming this portion, I'm probably gonna go get some pictures, some content in it, love it. And then when I leave out, I'm gonna be throwing on this bag. I showed you guys this bag in last week's vlog this is from h&m i told you i love the nice taupey color and look how well it looks with like the leopard mm. get into it super super cute so yeah i am going to be doing a little um shooting of content later on so back on track with the haul <laughs> so i liked these so much that i went in for another pair that they had online this is the green pair. So if you did not know, of course, our cranberry, Bordeaux, wine, burgundy, whatever color you wanna call it, you know the color. That color is definitely trending, but the other color that is trending is green. And the green that's trending is this green that you see in the glasses here. This is like a kind of pistachio colored green. It's the green that's not necessarily the green that trends every fall, like that deep forest color, almost olive tone. It's a little bit lighter, but not lime green. And that, this is what these look like. Ugh. I'm, I'm going to give y'all a moment. I'm going to give y'all a moment with them. Because they were under $5. You hear me? Under $5. They'll be linked. They're so good. They're so good. And I love that 
both pair has a, a transparent gradient lens so you can still see the eyes so good so so good all right the last thing that i picked up from timu is some denim pants now dark denim has been trending and it's definitely going to be trending heavily heavily in um the fall so what is that Oh, <laughs> anywho, girl, it's going to be trending heavily in the fall, like a denim on denim look, but dark denim, I'll pop up some inspo pics, it's the vibe. And so I picked up this pair, again, from Timu. Now, what I like about this pair is it looks like raw denim, though I know it's not, it looks like raw Japanese style denim. I love the very deep blue, almost indigo. And it already has what looks like weathering to the pant. And I love the lines, like large pockets on the back. And I love that it has like this faux seam going down the middle. This reminds me of when I was a little girl and my dad used to iron his pants but put a crease in them using starch. The starch was so heavy and the iron was so hot that it would leave like this indention in there. <laughs> so it is so nostalgic for me. I love these. I love them. They fit beautifully. They're nice and like wide leg. They kind of nip in just a little bit at the knee, which again, kind of leans into that kind of Western core. Love these down. I picked mine up. These are in a size extra large because the extra large is like a 12 and they fit great again if you're interested they will be linked moving on i did my makeup this morning babe the makeup's eating okay the makeup is eating why you may ask this one size this one size primer so two of my faves were raving about this and they also have oily skin face over matter Jalen said she loves this down, trust her opinion through and through. I used to watch her drugstore makeup religiously, love her. Um, and then also Chelsea talks about this and they're both oily girls. So I was like, okay, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. And when I say it didn't disappoint, this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. When I say it did not disappoint, it did not disappoint. Girl, it is 156. I did my makeup at 830 this morning. 830 this morning. Yes, I have some natural like oils peeking through, but by this time I am normally a grease ball. I have just been taking like my powder puff and just kind of like blotting maybe every two hours. This is good. If you're an oily skin girl, you need it. It will be linked down below. And I, I don't have to have any other primer. I just don't. I don't have to have any other primer. Baby, this is good. You need it, okay? The last thing that I wanted to chat with you guys about was my Dossier fragrances. I mentioned them very briefly before I had to run out to go get my son. So let's chat about it. So first up is Garmon and White Flowers. Now, the company did send these over. The, the pinion is all mine. I wouldn't steer you wrong. You need this one. You need it. My husband loves it. When I have this on, baby, he's this close to me, okay? He loves it. When I put it on, he was like, what is that smell? I love it. So this Garmon and White Flowers, let me get the card. If you're unfamiliar with Dossier, they make fragrances inspired by luxury um, fragrances. So this one is inspired by Victor and Roth Flower Balm. It's so, so good. The top notes are bergamot, green tea, berries, middle notes, white flower, orchid, rose, and base notes, which is what I love the most. And what I feel like comes through the most is musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla girl let me let me spray because oh it smells 
divine, okay? Now, I will mix that with this one here, which is ambery vanilla. The vanilla are in, are in both and they kind of have like that same base note, which makes it blend really, really well, but they have different notes as well. So this one is inspired by Black Opium by YSL. Top notes are Mandarin, Pear, Pink Pepper, and Licorice or Liqueur. Licorice, I think. Um, middle notes, Jasmine, Orange Blossom. Base notes, Patchouli, Vanilla, Coffee, and Cedarwood. Again, these two together, so good. They're so, so good. They smell good. We were, as I told you guys, in and out, in and out of the of urgent care, emergency rooms, doctors, all week last week. And every time someone came into like either the waiting room or um, once they put us in the room, the nurses were like, you smell so good. What are you wearing? And it was those two things. I'm telling you, I wouldn't lie to you. You need them. I think they're all under like $30. Girl, the lasting power is pretty good. I say it about five to six hours. They're good. They also sent over my fave, which I haven't been wearing that much because I was introduced to these. This scent profile is what I normally like gravitate to. This is the Ambery Saffron. This is a dupe for Baccarat and I love it. It has a nice like masculine tone to it. This is kind of a unisex. So any of the other two would pair well with this as well, just because this is like a deeper, more robust um, type of note. So the top notes are saffron, orange, and blossom. Middle notes, jasmine, plum, cedarwood. Base notes, oak moss, and amber. Really, really good. I was able to choose all of the ones that they sent over. So you will kind of see some of the base notes kind of running together because that's just what I like to smell like. And then lastly, Dossier does make their own fragrances as well. That's not necessarily inspired by a luxury perfume. And this one is Summer Crush. I really like this. It's really, really different for me. And I'm glad they sent it over because like I just said, I kind of stick to what I know and what I like, but this smells really really good the top notes are watermelon lemon beach breeze middle notes are lang lang coconut orange blossom base notes creamy musk vanilla and sandalwood so i think they picked this one out for me because of the vanilla and sandalwood it's really really good and even though we're going into the fall again i feel like these two together would be a vibe just to bring it down and make it a little bit more heavier I love that for me. Um, looking around to see if I have anything else I wanted to share with you guys before heading out to snap my pictures because again, it's 2.02. Um, you know my after afternoon routine. Oh, I wanna give you guys a life update really, really soon. And I have so many new subscribers. Hey girl, how you doing? Thank you so much for subscribing. They'd be so disrespectful. But anywho, I need to do a life update because I've been getting a few questions about, all right, am I still in the office? Am I still a training coordinator? You know, what's going on? I'm gonna give y'all a life update soon and show you guys my new fall makeup because I told you guys last vlog, this is the vibe for fall. Like I'm just feeling 90s minimalist. I just love blush, heavy brown lip, pretty much nothing on the eyes, lots of mascara a nice natural hair, it's the vibe. So I'm gonna give y'all a life update soon. Uh, what else? What, I was gonna say something else, child. I remember, I remember. Maybe I will remember once I, oh, oh, this weekend. So today is Tuesday. My mom's birthday is September the 7th. So we're gonna be going down to Bama to celebrate her birthday. She wants to have like a breakfast brunch. So we'll be going to Bama this weekend. So I'm super excited about that. I'm always happy to go down and commune with my family, have a little kiki. Cause I'm telling you, don't nobody kiki like us. Like I'm thinking about bringing y'all to the Thanksgiving 
Christmas festivities, but, but y'all gonna have to act like y'all seen some Alabamians before because this tone that y'all hear right now, baby, it goes out the window. When I get home, I, I just, I'm very, very comfortable and the Bama comes out. You may have noticed when I go down and it's not like I'm, you know, being fake or anything like that. I tell people all the time, it is because I, girl, I've been talking for 22 minutes. Hopefully y'all still here. <laughs> but the reason why the code switch happens is because I taught um, high school science for nine years. And so with that, I had to learn to enunciate. I had to learn to project my voice to like command the room. And so most of that was my adult life. Like I started teaching when I was about 23, 24. And so I, I kind of just adopted that as my normal like speaking tone. But when I'm again at home and Bama and I'm chilling, it comes out. It also comes out when I'm just chilling and talking to my husband. But this is work for me, me chatting with y'all. So sometimes you get my work voice and sometimes you'll get my little hood voice. Okay. So anywho, y'all may come. I'm going to see how y'all do. I'm, I'm going to give y'all a little preliminary round. Maybe Thanksgiving. But y'all, if y'all cut up in the comments and get to acting foolish, y'all ain't going no more. Okay? Y'all ain't going no more. But anywho, let me go get this content and I will chat with you guys a little bit later. Hi, let's go. Hey y'all, good morning, happy Saturday. So today is my mom's birthday. We have made it to Bama. She wanted to eat with her children at um, Crackle Barrel. So we are about to get ready to head inside. Um, I'm running a little bit behind, so I'm gonna go ahead and head in. I'll show you guys a little OOTD later on in the day, but see you guys once we get from breakfast. y'all so we have just finished eating breakfast at Crackle Barrel it was really good my son went with uh, my brother so your girl is solo for the latter half of this morning going into the afternoon um, again, today is my mom's birthday. She is turning 57, so happy birthday, mommy. Um, her and I are actually about to head to the thrift store. I'm super, super excited. I started my thrifting journey here in Bama at this one lone thrift store. So I'm hoping to um, nostalgically get a piece from there, hopefully. It used to be the best place to get like 
really good like vintage gems i'm talking about like stuff from the 80s so i'm hoping that they have some good things in there but if not that is okay i'm just again with the vibes with my mom i will take you guys inside um once we get in i have a long list of things that i am looking for um from the thrift store this season i've been ranting and raving about how excited i am to thrift this season so i'm looking for suede in any capacity so it could be a suede blazer a suede jacket suede pants a suede bag i'm looking for um some plaid a plaid blazer i'm looking, looking for like some vintage like lace pieces as well cowboy boots cowboy hats whatever girl uh loafers so oh and i really need some button-ups i wanted to wear a oversized white button-up with what i have on today but the button-up that i had is just not large enough so um striped button-ups i am looking for so yeah let's go in and see what we can find Okay, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. I do have my air on. Uh, it's 73 degrees, which is a beautiful day. However, the sun is out, so the heat index is fairly high here in Bama. Girl, when I say I got the goods, let me let me just show y'all. I got the goods. This was a pleasant surprise. I am so excited about the pieces that I was able to pick up today. I was able to scratch some things off my list. I have some suede, some bomber jackets. I have a button up, some hats. Super, super excited and all for $28. I may have about five pieces for $28. Like at the beginning, everything was a little bit slow, but right before we got ready to check out, girl, they had a rack with just suede jackets and leather jackets and it was a gold mine when i say i could have bought 50 percent of the items that were on there but i had to have a little bit of restraint because you guys know i have been so excited to thrift that everything was looking good and i was like okay shanika let's pair it back they also didn't have a dressing room so i was having to try on something and just kind of go off of what my mom was saying and then we found like this one lone mirror so I love the items that I got. I have a few items on hold. So I'm going to go back to my parents' house, kind of look at my fall mood board, see where the items that I have purchased can fit and if there is a need for the items that I have on hold. That is a great thrift tip. 
I will highly recommend that you place your items on hold if your facility allows you to do so and then come back within 24 hours because if you just get everything, I'm telling you, you're not gonna want all that you get unless you are just seasoned and you know exactly what you want or it's one of your like forever pieces, you'll know it when you see it. So I will show you guys the items that I picked up, kind of try them on for you once I get home. But I'm about to pop into this beauty supply store because I want some anklets. I love the way that the girls are, the girls, I'm about to be the girls, <laughs> are wearing like their socks with their sambas, but they're like decorating their socks. So I want to get like some anklets and see if they have like any pins or hair pins or anything that I can kind of repurpose for jewelry for my shoes. I'll pop up inspo pics on here. My girl, um, Renee, she did this flawlessly. I will pop up her post here. So, so cute. Um, I'm also looking for keychains that can double as bag charms. I've already made an order on a T move for some back charms, but I am kind of on the lookout. So I'm gonna pop into the hair store. I also need to stop into CVS because <clears throat> my mom is going to birthday festivities this evening. So she requested that I beat her face. And so that is what we're gonna be doing. So I need to go to CVS, get some stuff for her makeup, but I'm gonna pop into the hair store right now. So I will chat with you guys once I get back to my parents' house. Damn, look on him. What kind? What kind? Some sweet as pop. Mama, that's probably good. Ma'am, you have to get my kind of stuff that you want to definitely just taste like that. That's why it tastes like that, because it's peach pinnacle. Mama, but hers probably work. Well, she can have that. Mama, she was trying to be nice. Oh, it, it ain't even a full thing. You can have that shit. Oh, God, Mama. <laughs> 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 she can have that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, y'all. Happy Monday. So... I just realized I did not end out the vlog. We got back Saturday night and then I got into a Sunday reset, washing my son's clothes, grocery shopping, cleaning out the fridge. I realized I did not give you guys a um, haul of the items that I picked up, but I don't really feel like being on camera right now. I look busted and I'm actually working on wrapping up this vlog so I decided I'm going to save the haul for the top of next week's video so if you are not subscribed make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see the gorgeous gorgeous vintage goodies that I picked up they are so good but anywho I'm going to like I said go ahead and edit I also need to get back into the gym oh my husband is doing so, so much better. I'm thanking you guys in advance for your prayers. He is fine. Um, he does not have COVID. He had like an allergic reaction. And then from the allergic reaction, it just started to kind of spiral into a multitude of things. But keep him in your prayers. He's doing much, much better. As for me, I'm in better spirits as well, just trying to get back on a routine after kind of being thrown off. And the first thing that I need to get back in the habit of doing is the gym. And it is always so hard when you are knocked off your rocker. So I haven't been in about a week and a half and I told myself I was getting back in there today. So girl, I think I need to take some pre-workout, but I also just had a coffee. So I don't want to like double up on caffeine right now. Hydrating. So I'm going to more than likely finish editing this video, throw on my gym clothes and get downstairs. If I don't do anything but cardio, I need to get back in there just for my mental health and to continue to reach my fitness goals. 
But anywho, girl, I am rambling at this point. So again, if you made it this far in the video, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys for subscribing, sticking around, and just supporting me and hanging out with me. You are appreciated. I will see you guys next week for another one. Also, stay tuned for fall fashion videos. They are going to be everything. I've been having so much fun so much fun with fall fashion fall fashion fashion in general as well as home decor is in a beautiful space i have a whole video planned to discuss this but let me just tell you fashion and home decor is in a beautiful space i think it's just because of the state of the world where personal style is top tier right now like there are trends, but you are more so just seeing very unique spaces as far as home decor goes and just very unique things as far as fashion goes. It's a, it's a great space. So I'm having so much fun tapping into my um, just individual style while incorporating the trends. It's, it's a good time. But anywho, see you guys next week. Bye, y'all.